How you going guys? Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, the lighting in here is bloody horrible. Um, I try and pick good days to paint because I rely on natural lighting to come and lighten up the booth. Um, it's very overcast outside and it actually started raining earlier. I could hear it on the roof. It got really noisy as well. So um, all in all, we got a very nice job out of it. Um, it's all nice and clean. No dust. Well, I'll say there's no dust. There's a couple of tiny little bits just on the tops. Uh, apart from that, the sides are bloody beautiful, all off the gun. Uh, won't need to do any buffing on this except for just a couple of tiny bits on the top. Um, but yeah, so the tubs off a of Hilux. Um, the guy, I think he, I think he slid down into a embankment and hit a tree or a post or something, and he it actually caved in the uh, passenger side. So um, yeah, bad luck to you. Um, but. He's got a new tub. He basically just wanted all the big damage fixed on it. I had a couple of big bangs um, down the, the, the lower corners. So I just basically just repaired all the big damage anyway. There's a couple of tiny little like whoops in it and tiny little dents on it. Um, but he said, look, it's only a work car. I just want you to paint it for me and fix all the big damage. So that's what I've done. Um, I did go that extra step and fixed all the scratches and stuff like that too. Um, so that's um, something else for the owner to yeah, look forward to, I guess. He'll probably end up scratching it all up as well. And it, it, I mean, as, as I said, it's a work car. So, um, But anyway, we got a pretty nice job out of it. Um, yeah, got a, just a couple of tiny specks of dust on the tops. Um, I can barely even see them here now. But um, yeah, it's all good. I'll swing the camera around now. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, just keep in mind, the lighting is horrible. I'll try and make it look better in my editing software. I'll have to go and watch a YouTube video on how to do that because I don't know how to do the lighting yet. So, um, but yeah, so we'll swing it around and we'll take a quick look. Um, so all in all, come out pretty nice. Um, very flat and off the gun. Um, there's no spec, oh yeah, there's just a couple of tiny little specs there. Uh, apart from that, yeah, it'll come out pretty nice. Um, I thought I'd share some uh, information with you guys and some uh, news and exciting things which are happening on the channel. Um, and that's in regarding booths. So everyone knows I'm painting in a wooden box with plastic covered in it. Um, I want to lift up my game for the YouTube channel. Not so much with my work, because my work, I can get pretty nice jobs out of this booth, like, believe it or not. And um, so we're actually thinking about extending the shed. And the reason for that is, is I'm putting a proper booth in. Now, this is probably all going to start taking effect probably in the next couple of months. So, um, but yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be heaps better um, for the YouTube videos, I'll be able to show all the colors better. We're going to paint all the walls and the floor white, have heaps of lighting. Um, that's a real key thing for painting it and to get a nice finish is um, if you can't see what you're painting, it makes it incredibly difficult to paint. Um, now, an experienced painter knows how much to move the gun to get the, all those nice 50% overlaps. And that's pretty much what I've done on this tub, is that I just, I just painted it like I was painting in a booth, like a proper booth. Um, I just painted it like knowing where my overlaps are, and I got a nice job out of it. Um, but yeah, for all the exper uh, non-experienced like people out there, um, if you're gonna be painting at home, the best tip that I could give you is to put as much white light in the booth so you can see. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, you all take it easy, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers.